So my daughter wanted me to see if I had any homemade cards because I love scrapbooking and card making and I found these upstairs. I'll have to go through them and see what's in here. But, um, yeah, I love making cards. You know, I just... So I'm going to take them to our fundraiser, uh, craft show type thing. And I know graduation is over, but somebody might buy it for next year. Who knows? So these are a bunch of cards that I made. I'm going to look at them, make sure they're all okay and that they have an envelope, etc., etc. Then I'll pack them up and put them in with the stuff I'm going to be taking to the craft show. So I'm going to work on that right now. So I noticed that um, I'm going to share some of these with you. I just think, you know, I'm kind of glad that I found these. So happy together. It's like, you know, dog pet lovers. I am going to get have to get some envelopes, though. I'm noticing that there's some envelopes missing. Now, when I make these, I don't write inside because I let it up to the people. I leave it up to them, you know, if they want birthday or whatever. But I like that one, too. And I have the stuff to make these, which I so miss doing this. Oh, my goodness gracious, I miss doing this. I mean, that one has a little tiny thing on it. But, you know, hey, for a donation. So, um, yeah, summer's over. And I wish I would have... But some of these are still okay. I mean, they might send them, use it as a, you know, baby cards. I don't have anything for boys, though. You know, this is just kind of a masculine card. I'm going to have to, like, put this uh, envelope separate. Um, heartful Wishes. Over the Hill. Uh, birthday. I think this is just some of them are just blank. Best cat. Best dog. Now these, um, you know, I did a lot of sympathy cards. Uh, get well. Here's another sympathy card. That's This one was really popular. And I would, um, make it, you know, like if it was for cats, or I would kind of just change the design on it, and, uh, you know, first place, here's another graduation, I'm going to show you that one again, because I'll, that one's kind of cool, you know, kind of like a kid's birthday, here's another masculine birthday, I know I'm kind of graduation with the certain colors. I'm surprised this one didn't go at the time. I've had this one for a while because gold and black. This is just a uh, hello. Another birthday. Uh, another graduation card. Uh, just some cute cards. Just some, you know. I think they're cute. I mean, some are better than others. I mean, granted, I, uh, you know, I love coffee. Here's another uh, graduation, you know. And somebody might get it for, you know, the end of the year. Um, the house is not a home without dogs. The thing about this, and I wish I had my stick right now, like this one here is a birthday card. Oops, hold on, piling. Um... This is a birthday card, but what's neat about this one, doing this one-handed, is that when you open it up, you put a credit card in here. So I usually used uh, that as a sample, and I'll put it in there. And then you put a, um, a gift card in there. And write your note, and then you got your birthday card. So that's kind of cute. I don't have an envelope that fits it, though. I also make envelopes. I think this one does the same thing. Hold on. Okay, this one's a little bit different. I mean, it has a magnet that keeps it closed, and then the gift card goes inside. I kind of put a makeshift gift card in there, and it's just congratulations. Shoot. And because I'm Hebrew, I am going to put these out here, even though, you know, people probably won't. But, hey, you never know. You never know. But these are some, like, 
you know, I didn't know I had all these. I'll put them out. I have a bunch of jewelry. You know, um, here's another one I made. I love making cards, and I usually charge like two bucks. Now I'll tell you what, I put a lot of time and effort into some of these. It is very time consuming when you start I'm doing it again. When you tar when you start thinking of um what do you want to put on it? Uh here's another graduation with the certain colors. Um hello. This one I think is a kit that I haven't made yet. Yeah, that one I have to make. And these are envelopes and Here's another one. These are the gift card kind. And then you open it up. Those are really popular. And this one has a band on it. And then here's another one that's a birthday that's a gift card. They're just real simple. You know, easy. Cute. And this one, because I'm doing this one handed, it, you take the band off. And, sorry. Okay, this is not good. <laughs> I can't. Well, you take the band off all the way, and then it does the same thing, but the band is just something a little extra. I have to fix that one. But anyway, wow, I did not know that I had that many cards that I can, uh, you know, use for the craft show and let them make some money. Hopefully they uh, go. I so miss doing it. I mean, that is kind of like one of the things that was a... Um, even though it's time consuming, um, I wish I had the space, the office. I used to have an office and I had everything just so I had all my stamps, all my glues and all my, all my, uh, all my, um, <laughs> you know, cutters and dies and everything. I had it all organized, and I could go in my office and just work on this, and it was just so relaxing. And uh, sometimes I would make specialized cards for people um, at the vet's office. If somebody had lost a dog, and it was a particular kind of dog, I would actually personalize a card specifically for them, for, for the person giving it to them. Um, so... Yeah, so that is, uh, I miss doing, I miss doing crafts. I used to do scrapbooks, and I miss that. I wish I had the time and the space. Uh, I was working on a ancestry book until I found some discrepancies in my <laughs> family tree, which I had already talked on but I found envelopes so I'm good to go so I'm going to fix these up put them in the box and I'll put them with the stuff that uh that's going to go to the craft show so you guys have a good night bye